there. Welcome to Gaining Vision. I'm Melanie. Thanks so much for clicking. To my returning subscribers, thank you for your continuous love and support. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Please feel at home. Have you had an opportunity to subscribe to the channel yet? If not, take a second, hit subscribe, and please don't forget to like and share. Now, we all know that Julius Malama, the leader of the EFF, is a straight shooter. He says how it is, whether at a rally, in an interview, speaking to his followers, or definitely even in Parliament. He doesn't hold punches. He will speak his mind, especially when he feels something is not going the way it should be. I met Ivan Pillay. I met uh, Johan van Lockenberg. I gave them the document which contained all of this information. After I left, all my problems started. When I was watching one of the many videos of him in Parliament, he was addressing the Speaker in the House and the President about a concern he had. And he highlighted in many different ways. He was talking about Minister Pervin Godin. What type of a president are you who even when presented with the hardcore evidence of the most dangerous activities of Honorable Jamnandas, you still don't act? The reality is the rogue unit was not established with a directive, a directive of any sitting president and did not report to him. This means whoever they reported to was as powerful, if not more than a sitting president. He explained to the speaker that how important it was that he felt the minister was not doing what he needed to do. And in fact, when something happened that he did not like the way things were going, that the minister would create a campaign to smear the individual he was going up against. That's how Honorable Jamnandas become untouchable. He needs to know that unlike you who are traumatized by him, we are not scared of him. We are going to take him head on toe to toe. And there is none of you who can tell us how we must take on Jamnandas. Jamnandas faction destroyed a lot of comrades, traumatized a lot of comrades, they smeared a lot of comrades the same way they are doing now. When you disagree with them, they go to the papers. Let now, the minister has been minister of many different portfolios, and he said it how it was. And many people brushed him off as if it was not a concern. He was imagining things. And then recently, I saw in the news that the youth leader of the ANC was having issues with the minister. I don't know, Comrade SG, that Tula Singh is there, who's the minister of employment, but it appears like he's a minister of unemployment. I don't know when we're removing him, but it's an urgent matter. The president of the country, the president of the country, Ravaposa, responding to the issue of unemployment, employed a minister of employment who's becoming a minister of unemployment. As well, the secretary general of the ANC also was speaking up against him and how he was not doing his job. Amazing how Julius saw this well in advance and nobody took him seriously, but now the minister is causing issues for the ANC party. But this isn't the only thing that Julius has shown many different things of his insight, or foresight we'll call it, into what's actually impacting South Africans. He mentioned the importance again of being mindful of the US having a land uh, air base in Botswana and the impact it could have on South Africa. You know, I was charged by the ANC for saying Botswana has got an American base mm. and poses a threat to South Africa. Mbalula repeated it a few days ago. Mm. Mbalula said Botswana is a threat with an American base. He's not charged. But I was charged for that. And uh, that one didn't want me for that. Because search was conducted the landing strip that is there in the army base of Botswana, they say it can land a fighter jet which can take less than two minutes mm. if it wants to hit the Union building. Mm. So if America says we're fighting South Africa, it doesn't have to send anything from Washington. They are here already. Mm. And that's what Putin doesn't want in Ukraine. 
They want to do what they did here in Botswana, in Ukraine. We allowed it. And our position as the EFF is that that army base must be removed because it poses a threat to SADC. And he didn't want me to say, he banned me for my political opinion. Mm. I didn't say we're going to bomb Botswana <laughs> or anything of that sort. But he was threatened by the honesty that we shared with people. As well, the Secretary General of the ANC also was speaking up against him and how he was not doing his job. It's amazing how Julius saw this well in advance and nobody took him seriously, but now the minister is causing issues for the ANC party. But this isn't the only thing that Julius has shown many different things of his insight, or foresight we'll call it, into what's actually impacting South Africans. He mentioned the importance again of being mindful of the U.S. having a land uh, air base in Botswana and the impact it could have on South Africa. And again, it's been laughed off. But he was right. Look at what's happening in Niger as well, U.S. base there. He also has talked many times about other issues coming up for many potential issues that many different members of parliament could cause. He's also advised several times, as he's been wronged, that he could see what was coming. Why is it that so many people are not taking Julius Malema serious? Could it be that they're afraid that he could be right? Or could it be that they just think he is somebody that's talking, talk, 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 talk? But I think it's been proven time and time again that the leader of the EFF knows what he's talking about. He see, has this foresight and he sees what could possibly come happen. He is looking out for what's best for South Africans. And perhaps we don't always agree with what politicians have to say, but he has proved time and time again, especially when it comes to Parliament currently, that he is very wise. So I encourage all members of Parliament in South Africa to pay attention to what Julius Mama has to say, because what he's spoken about in the past is now coming to fruition. Do your research, everyone. I encourage us all to pay attention to the politics in South Africa as we know the election is coming soon. Watch what Julius Mama has to say and watch it come to light. It's very interesting for me to observe and see, and I'm watching the reaction that they're having to the different comments Julius is making. Until next time, please don't forget to hit that notification button, like and share the video, and definitely subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Until next time, we'll see you later. Bye.